हमारे पास ना कोर्ट का आया और ना इलेक्शन कमीशन का सेक्रेटेट तक आया As far as uh, the order of the uh, Peshawar High Court is concerned, uh, that order was announced, and uh, uh, as I understand, those eight uh, returned candidates have not been given oath. If they have not been given oath by uh, by you, uh, then, in my opinion, there is no contempt. Uh, but as far as uh, the other two matters are concerned, uh, I believe my learned friend uh, is perhaps aware of them. The Lahore High Court has not granted an injunction. It has uh, issued notices to all parties for 13th, I believe, which is next Wednesday, when the matter will be taken up. Now, uh, if the members who have been administered oath today belong to the province of Punjab, then surely my learned friend would agree that the territorial jurisdiction of Peshawar High Court would not extend to province of Punjab, or to that extent, members who have been declared returned candidates for the seats allocated to Punjab. Um, under clause three of Article 51, Mr. Speaker, the reserve seats for women are allocated to each of the provinces. So the total 60 seats to the reserve uh, for women are allocated to each of the provinces, and uh, the percentage share of each political party is worked out on the basis of general seats which they win from each of the provinces, and that is how the seats are then distributed. So therefore, as far as the Peshawar High Court's decision is concerned. It surely applies to the reserve seats which are allocated to the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, but it cannot apply under the constitution to other provinces because, as I said, the reserve provinces separately. Now, the other matter, Mr. Speaker, relates to the seats reserved for uh, non-Muslims. I have gone through the petition, the memo of parties of the petition. Um, I have not seen. Uh, any non-Muslim being impleaded in that petition. Uh, my understanding is that uh, the candidates, or at least the contesting candidates, if there were any at that time, uh, none of them belong to province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, because if there was, it was so. I am assuming uh, they would have come forward and had become um, a party to that petition. So, as far as uh, the legal position stands, in my opinion, Mr. Speaker, the order of Peshawar High Court would surely apply to those eight reserved seats for women, and they cannot be administered oath till such time the Peshawar High Court either uh, withdraws that injunctive order or decides the, or rejects the petition. But uh, the oaths administered today, if they are confined to members who have been declared as returned candidates. For reserve seats for women from Pan province of Punjab, or the reserve seats for non-Muslims, and the candidates, of course, the reserve seats for non-Muslims are allocatable to the entire country. But if none of them, uh, the uh, the candidates who claim that they uh, should have been given that reserve seat uh, is, is uh, before the Peshawar High Court, in that case, uh, uh, the injunctive order in the, would not apply to the reserve seats for non-Muslims either, Mr. Speaker.